you say it takes only about $150 a year to help kids in the developing world get into school and to pay for school. So how do you help donors with kids that need that 150 bucks? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, when I first heard that amount, $150, I remember my jaw dropped. Uh, I was on my first trip to Tanzania. I just graduated high school, and I met this incredibly outgoing, charismatic young man named John, uh, who had just graduated from primary school at the time, and he told me he wanted to become president of Tanzania, which I thought was awesome. Wow. But the next thing I learned was that he wasn't going to go to high school, uh, and that was because of these school fees, about $150. Uh, and it turns out that in Tanzania, as in many developing countries, uh, there's no free school at the government, at the secondary school level. Um, so I was inspired to help John, and in doing so, he became the school fund's first student. Uh, and that really led me to this idea of connecting more people, you know, everyday people just like myself, with students like John, who just need this little bit of money, uh, and allowing them to fund their, their education directly and stay in touch uh, using online journals. Is it, is it like a social network? I was looking at the site. I mean, it, it almost looks kind of like a social network um, in a way. Yeah, I mean, you can go on. Our homepage is basically a grid of faces of mm -hmm. students all around the world like John that just need this little bit of money. Uh, when you click on a student's picture, it opens up their profile. You see a detailed breakdown of exactly what they need to go to school. You can fund them in any amount. 100% of that money goes to their education. Uh, and then uh, you can, again, stay in touch with them using this journal so you can build a relationship with them. How do you think your nonprofit is different than other organizations that do similar work? Yeah, well, you know, uh, transparency is definitely one of the things that we uh, strive for. Mm -hmm. And part of what I just described, the ability to know exactly who you're helping uh, is definitely key. You know, I feel like oftentimes uh, when you're giving money to an international nonprofit, it's a bit of a black box, right? Mm -hmm. You write your $100 check, you're not necessarily sure where that money's going, who it's helping. But we wanted to show people, this is the student that you're helping. This is exactly what they need to go to school. Matt, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate you being here. You guys can get more information on the School Fund by going to theschoolfund.org. And remember to join the global movement to end poverty at takepart.com slash poverty. And while you're there, join the Take Part World mailing list to stay up to date on stories from the front lines of global change.